Hello again and welcome back to another video where we'll be messing around with both Reaper and FMOD. Today we're going to try and import the timeline in Reaper as an event in our FMOD project. Before we start, I quickly want to just say thank you ever so much to everyone who's been taking part in the FMOD and Unity Essentials course. It seems to be going down really well and everyone who has taken part in it is uh, saying they enjoy it and uh, finding it really useful. The full launch has begun and it'll only be available till the 12th of April. Uh, so if you're interested, check it out. And there's also a little discount code you can use, uh, SGS bonus, I believe, uh, that will give you 20% off. Uh, so if you're interested in that, go check it out. I'll have a link to it in the description of this video. But with that out of the way, we're going to quickly start with a little error I made in the last video about this. So uh, when we were importing our Reaper project into FMOD and linking all the assets together, uh, it turns out that when we do this, we're actually kind of taking our renders and importing them straight into our saved FMOD project. And that makes sense, right? So we're just copying them and putting them into FMOD in a nice, quick and easy way. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how we do that one more time. So here I have a folder of the project I'm using in Reaper. It's my spell casting project. And here you can see I've got one render ready to go. Over here, I've got an FMOD Studio project called Test, uh, and I've opened up the Assets folder, which is currently empty, because as you can see, this is an empty project. Nothing's really going on in there. So just like last time, to link a Reaper project to an FMOD project, I'm just gonna take the project file of our Reaper project and drag it into the Assets tab of the FMOD project, just like that. And then as you can see, oh, that was quick, uh, in the Assets uh, folder of the uh, FMOD Studio project, uh, we now have a new folder called spellcasting 2 rppplink If we open that up, we get access to a copy of the rendered file we made in Reaper. So that was just one little error of mine. It turns out when you link assets like this, it's not actually just like a magical link that lets you access the file. Uh, it's a copy of the file that you're actually making. So hopefully that didn't confuse too many people. But with that out of the way, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that, uh, we'll keep that open. And I'm just gonna quickly delete this link and we're gonna talk about how we can actually import the timeline as an event. Okay, so this is my Reaper project and the plan is I'm going to render out some audio files, one or maybe two from each, I'm not too sure, but a few audio files from each region I've created here, number one and two, and we're gonna import them into Reaper as one event. Okay, so to start with, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is go to our FMOD project, and we're going to need to access our preferences by going Edit Preferences, and I think if you're on a Mac, you need to go File Preferences, but on a PC, for me, it's under Edit. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to the Door tab, and you're gonna wanna click this button here, Install to Reaper. And what this is gonna do is basically create a script, like a file of code, uh, that's going to be installed inside the folders of Reaper. So if I click on it here, I can actually decide where about it's going to be installed. Uh, you should probably install it in the scripts folder, so that's where I'm going to do it in. Uh, now if you're on PC, to access this folder here, you're gonna to wanna to go to your user, then app data, roaming, Reaper and scripts. Now app data is a bit of a secret folder. Apparently you can't just sort of search for it like you normally would with any other folder. Uh, but I'll show you how to find it in a little bit so you can double check that this has worked. But for now, what I'm gonna do is select this folder. It gives you a little message just saying you can check out more information about this if you're not too sure by clicking the link here. But we're fine for now, so we're going to click OK. And like I said, the app data file is kind of hidden normally. You can't just start clicking on files and search for it. To find it, you actually need to come up here to the little search bar and you need to type this in. You need to type in a percentage sign followed by app data all in capitals and another percentage sign. And if we hit enter, it will take us to that folder. Then once you're inside the app data folder, you're gonna to want to go to Reaper, then scripts, and here you can see the file that we created and stored inside this folder. It's FMOD Studio Integration. Dot e -E -L. So that's just a way of double checking that you installed the script successfully. Now behind me, I've got a page on the FMOD website that kind of talks you through how to do all this. Uh, so if you're on Mac, instead of going to the app data folder, you're gonna to wanna to go to the home folder. And then from there, go library, application support, and then Reaper slash scripts. So I'll have this page linked under this video if you wanna check that out. But either way, uh, we've now installed that file uh, into Reaper successfully. So now we're gonna to wanna to go to our Reaper project. Right, so inside our Reaper project, we're gonna to wanna to come up to the Actions tab at the top. We're gonna to click on Show Action List, and we want to find the uh, file that we just imported into our Reaper Scripts folder, which as you can see is this one here. Now, if you can't see the file straight away amongst all of this nonsense, uh, what you can do is click the Load button here, and you can search through your folders to find it. 
Uh, this is why it's quite important to know how to access the app data and if you're on Mac, the home folders, because you know they're a little bit hard to find if you don't know how to search for them properly. Uh, but once you have found them and you've found the folder that you saved that file into, just click on it, click open, and it should appear here in this list. And then once you've done that, you're gonna wanna click on it, and this time hit run or run close, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and you can check to see that it has successfully imported that script into this project specifically. So once you've done that, uh, you should have a new file basically in the same place as the place you saved your project. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna find the location of my project in my folders, which I believe I saved in my documents under Reaper Media, uh, on the spellcasting entire project, spellcasting two, and here we go. So here's my project that we were using earlier. And here I've got a new file. I've got a spellcasting2.timeline.fspro meta file. This is basically what we need. It's gonna help us link our project to FMOD and create an event with our timeline. So next, once we've done that, let's get rid of that, we're going to export some uh, renders from our project that we want to use in our event. So uh, we need the render region matrix thing, region render matrix, well, I never get the name of that right. Uh, make sure also you've got some regions set up in your project, which if you don't know to create them, you just uh, click an area on your timeline, drag it over like that, then hit Shift and R, I think. Yep, Shift and R, there you go, and it creates a region. And as you can see there, it also creates a new column in the render matrix. And then from here, we're able to select what files we want to render out, uh, and we can group them together, like I've done here, which actually, let's just quickly talk about. So I've create, as you can see, I've created some group buses here. Now my plan is to make one section of this event in FMOD uh, have basically three renders, three audio files, uh, each one combining these sections together. So I'll have one file that combines all these sounds together, one for these sounds, one for these sounds, etc. Then from the second region, I'm just gonna have one file uh, that's gonna be in the master track of my FMOD event that will combine all of these together, okay? A bit random, a bit unnecessarily specific, but that's what I'm gonna go for. Uh, so once you've selected which ones you want to render, you're gonna to wanna to go to File, Render, uh, and then from here, there's a few specific things you're gonna to wanna to set up. First thing is that you're gonna to wanna to make sure your source is the region render matrix. Uh, which mine is. If you don't have your render matrix open, you can come to this render section and just click region uh, matrix and it should open it up here or as a tab somewhere in your project. Okay, so next the directory or the place that you're saving these renders at is the same place as your project itself. Uh, so in my case, if I click browse, browse for file, uh, for me, this is it here. So the spellcasting2 folder, which as I just showed you is this one here. So under my Reaper media folder, spellcasting entire project, spellcasting2, this is the location of the project itself. So this is where I'm going to save my renders. So I'm gonna click save like that. Then the file name, you're gonna to wanna to use some wildcards, which is, which is a really cool feature that Reaper has. It allows you to basically, if you're rendering out multiple audio files, which is what we're doing, name them depending on their track and their region, uh, or, you know, there's there's loads of options. If you click wildcards, it gives you loads of different options on how you want to name your uh, files. But for this to work, we're specifically going to want to call them uh, dollar sign track underscore dollar sign region, which will name them after the track and their region. Then once you've done that, just make sure you're importing them, or sorry, rendering them uh, as WAV files and nothing else. None of this, we're not interested. Other than that, I believe you can just, you know, set this however you want. You can use different sample rate channels, etc. Uh, so that's all up to you, but just make sure those four things are exactly as I've put. So we want the region render matrix, the directory has to be saved to the same place as our project, uh, call your file names this, and make sure they're WAVs. Cool, once you've done that, hit render. And as you can see, it's running out the four files for me. And then if we have a look at their location, as you can see, they're all saved in the same place as the project itself. Great, so now let's go to FMOD and inside the Assets tab, we're going to link the project to our FMOD project. And as we know from last time, you just do that by clicking on the project file itself, the .rpp file, dragging it into the Assets tab like that. And then you should see it's linked your renders as like linked assets. Now just to double check, uh, we've set this up right. Uh, the place where we rendered out our files to, which was the same place as our project, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that is the same place as your rendered assets path in FMOD. So by, because we saved those files in the same location as our project, by default, it should find them, which is what it's done here. But just 
for <laughs> safety's sake, I guess, I'm just gonna quickly double check. Uh, yep, this is the right folder. So I'm gonna click Select Folder. Then from there, all you need to do is click on the link, drag it into the Events tab, let go, choose which kind of event you want. I'm gonna go with 3D Event. And then bang, from there, you've got your events uh, imported, or sorry, your timeline imported as an event. So as you can see, those uh, three buses that I rendered out as files, I've got here. Uh, so these are the combination, if I go back to Reaper, the, those three files you just saw the combination of these sections here rendered into my F1 event. And at the bottom, I've got a, another, can I make this bigger? You can't really see it actually. Let's make it a, a tiny bit bigger. There we go. I've got one file, uh, which is the combination of, move all this out of the way, as uh, all of these files here rendered as one. And as you can see, they're sort of organized into the two regions we created. Uh, so if I quickly play them for you, let's scroll up and I'll play the event in its full. Oh, let's just start from there. That's the first one and then the second one. There we go, that worked quite well. Now, this is the sort of only way I've been able to get this to work. I've kind of fiddled it around with how they describe it uh, in the page which I'll have linked under this video. And yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I've had all sorts of issues with this. I've had cases where the files don't come out, they're not found. Uh, sometimes some of them are and some of them aren't, which is the weirdest error I've had. I don't know why it finds some but not others. Uh, but yeah, I've really been having some issues with this. I'm not sure if it's just me being a dummy or if this is still just, you know, the, the kind of technology, not the technology, but the, uh, it's a new feature of FMOD and maybe it needs some kinks working out. I'm not too sure, but I really would like to know how you guys get on with this. If you find you're having trouble getting the event in FMOD to match your uh, project in Reaper, let me know how you get on. Or if you find any other ways of this working. For example, in theory, if I go back to Reaper and quickly go File Render, in theory, we should be able to save um, our project, our renders anywhere, really, in any folder. We can create a new one separately for them, just so long as they're not saved in the same place that the, uh, oh, whoops, was that me? I think that was me. Just so long as they're not saved in the uh, place that our uh, actual assets are that we used for to building you know, these renders in our project. As long as they're not saved there, in theory, they should be able to be saved anywhere. And then in FMOD, in the uh, link to the project, you just have to choose that path, that folder, in the rendered assets path uh, section here. But whenever I did that, I, it didn't seem to import right. So that's why I've done it this way, uh, where I've made sure the renders are saved in the exact same position as the project itself. That seemed to work for me. Uh, yeah, pretty cool nonetheless. Let me know how you get on with this. Uh, in fact, if you do give this a try, please feel free to put in the comment section how you found it. Uh, maybe even go through this uh, document like I did and see if you can get it working in different ways because uh, I really appreciate kind of spreading this information out because it's a really cool feature. Uh, just a little bit uh, funny in the way that it runs. And with that, that's everything I wanted to share in this video. Uh, like I said, let me know how you get on and let me know if you want to see more kind of videos like this where we talk specifically about FMOD 2.0 and its new features. For example, I kind of want to get into the new uh, uh, the new parameters that FMOD has, because they're really cool. They've really upped their game with parameters. Uh, yeah, so as always, I've been Henry Scott. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.